Hey guys, here is the current state of Terra Luna, and it's quite interesting to see what's actually happened recently since basically Binance relisted this back as a trading pair. So we're going to check out some news on this particular project, look at some recent tweets, what we think can actually happen with Terra Luna over the next few days. I understand a lot of you are anticipating some sort of recovery plan or compensation, and there has been lots of speaking and words of this occurring. Just be careful that a lot of information you see on Twitter is scammy. So they are trying to reel in the vulnerable and the ones that are suffering from this particular event. So it looks like we came all the way down to 0 0.000 Zero zero two eight three. That's probably when the delist actually happened, and Terra basically hit zero. It's still basically at zero. And now, what unfortunately is happening is a lot of people are degening into this. You can see there was a fifty thousand percent increase from that very much bottom level. And um, so far, from the top, we've already come down from the swing high another eighty percent. So it's quite interesting to see what happened. If we look at the Fib retracement here, we come down to the 0.786 level, which is technically a key area of support. And with the new circulating supply the new hyperinflationary 6.5 trillion luna it does actually still now apply because the tokenomics has changed it means the ceiling price has effectively also changed now what could probably happen if we do truly see more movement to the upside the word is spread more positivity is actually commencing we might actually get a breakout from this 0 0.0005 level i'm not saying it would definitely happen but if we did you could be looking at a 0 0.0007 luna in the brand new price discovery of this particular project i don't really think it will happen you're looking at 465 percent it's quite pragmatic, it is realistic, but this can only happen if Do Kwon sorts this out and you know, big exchanges, centralized exchanges also put out a good word. So right now, lots of people have lost faith in algorithmic stable coins, and I think that's very, very important that you know people do believe in what they are effectively investing in. If we take a look at the news right here, we can see the Binance Exchange has also lost a massive amount of money. So it's not only the retailers that have lost here, it's also the actual whales and the big dogs in the background. Binance Exchange invested in Luna, like the Terra price, they're down over 99.9%. .9%. The world's largest crypto exchange has lost almost all its gains from the Luna investments it made for the crash of the Terra network over the past few days. CEO Shang Peng Zhao disclosed that the crypto exchanges gains had been completely obliterated guys from this market correction and the terra fud binance invested three million dollars in the terra network in 2018 making it the owner of 15 million luna so you can imagine what the value was binance investment was before the last week's implosion estimated to be worth more than 1.6 billion that's gone all the way down to three thousand four hundred dollars so that's interesting to see. Binance wants to see retail investors compensated. CZ says that Binance is now more concerned with how retail investors will be compensated for this particular occasion. The Binance CEO also added that the exchange had previously held talks concerning investing $300 million in Luna in a $1 billion funding round. But that deal is now obviously, you know, off the table. What is also new, guys? LFG spend most of its Bitcoin holding to prevent the collapse of UST. As of today, the institution reportedly held the following. So they've sold off a lot of Bitcoin at the moment. 313 Bitcoin around 9.3 million, 39.9K BNB around 11.8 million and 1.9 million AVEX currently worth around 64.7 million so it's quite interesting to see social media gets heated amid real life impact of usd's collapse this is why crypto is crashing it's just like the covid 19 march 2020 black thursday crash that is exactly what i'm linking it to there's also a tweet right here so may 16 as of saturday may 7 2022 this is how much was in the lfg reserves consisting of the following assets we see exactly how much was there 26.2 million usdt 697,000 ust now when we scroll down a little bit we can see what's happened here with this the selling you know where the transactions are going and again we now see eight hours ago exactly what the reserves are there's 1.8 billion ust makes sense 313 bitcoin 39.9k bnb still got 1.9 uh, million avax and of course 222 million luna of which 221 million is currently staked with the validators so they are reassuring the audience the lfg luna foundation guard they are tweeting and being fully transparent of what's occurring i do want to show you this however on the sort of scammy fraudy side 
It appears an inside job was allowed to be carried forth to bail on wills, all while the retail bag holders got incinerated. Massive class action criminal proceedings possible with this. So what this speculates is that basically Terra had informed some of the whale holders, maybe centralized exchanges and things, um, that this was going to occur so they could basically bail out these whales and basically let the investors suffer. You know, the retail investors, the small fry, me, you know, the guy down the road, the guy at the hairdressers or John in the coffee shop. These sort of people basically are suffering. So the operators of the collapsed Terra stablecoin last week allowed selected holders of the dollar token to cash out at close to 100 cents in the dollar using cryptocurrency exchanges Gemini and Binance as a conduit. Basically, it is something that we should definitely look into. Don't know if it's 100% true, but you know, you have to ask yourself, did Terra operates bail out crypto whales? Could have happened. Something big also happened as well. This tweet here reflects just that in Bitcoin Magazine. Breaking, the Luna Foundation sold over 80,000 Bitcoin, just 313 left. What's really nice to see is that, of course, Bitcoin has massively held its value since. If we have a look at Bitcoin USD on this particular time frame, I'm going to show you why that's important. Because when we go to the weekly time frame, look at the RSI. We see, again, I said this many times, RSI has come down to the COVID 2020 event low, broke through the 200 week moving average there. We didn't do it so far, but we have got the same RSI. And I think it's crazy to think all that Bitcoin has sold and we're still holding a very, very nice, almost $30,000 USD. Anyway, guys, that's about a wrap for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment down below. Come and hop in the Discord channel. We've got a really nice little community growing at the moment. It's completely free. Just chat with like-minded people. Make sure you hop on over to my Twitter profile as well. Enter the $100 giveaway. All you got to do is retweet, like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that's about a wrap. Bye now.